we are going to have a furoshiki demo uh, another cultural part of japan i just briefly introduce mr kazuko barisik she is going to perform a furoshiki demo today kazuko barisik a japanese professional calligrapher of shodo and master of pura senke sadu the japanese traditional tea serving ceremony and an advisor in hospitality and robotics some of you have must uh, seen the stage too she was already uh, performing a session on omotenashi it was really insightful she has uh, developed her expertise in the hospitality industry through more than 20 years of experience in japan croatia uae and india also has been invited as a guest speaker lecturer by timavi and adypu ajinkya dy patel university to their conferences focusing on india's future in hospitality and tourism industry ms parisik has also been devoted in robotics as humanoid robot builder since 2011 who has led the japanese team and participated herself as a contestant in the renowned international robotics competition in usa robo games and south korea irc international robot contest i guess mr Kazuko, Miss Kazuko is already ready. Over to you, Kazuko San. Your show on English Mass. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. Very good afternoon or very good evening. Now we are going to uh, make a brief presentation and demonstration about furoshiki. It's an art of wrapping. So we are going to show you how to wrap things economically and eco-friendly. Furoshiki is a Japanese word. So we are going to show you the beauty of wrapping by Kazuko Sensei. She is an expert in furoshiki, and I'm just going to go through a brief, very short presentation about furoshiki. It's a beauty of wrapping, an art of wrapping. Yes. Some variety of designs and fabrics, of course. available and in india so much more even some are like this yeah so much of variety and design and its size as well normally it's in a, a square a form but sometimes rectangular as well Ah, look at this. Even in Draymond, it appeared Roshiki itself. All right. So let's say no more pl plastic bags from today anymore, because Roshiki can wrap virtually anything. Okay. All right. Now over to Sensei. 皆さんこんにちは。そしてこんばんは。えー、風呂敷はですね、あの非常に、えー、美しい、えー、布で持って包むわけなんですけども、包むときにあの何を包むかによって、えー、そして素材ですとか、それから、えー、シーズンによって。いろんなバラエティがあります、えー、インドに行きましてとてもハッピーなことにあのインドでは美しい布がたくさんあふれていますそう、so、we are going to show you the wrapping the froshiki itself is a cloth it's a very simple cloth you can choose any cloth that you have in your home And there is a variety of beauty in India as well. For example, Kazuko Sensei is now showing one cloth, which is a part of old sari. A part of it. And he's showing one more cloth. 
it's a shawl that you may have variety of now she is showing some of the traditional typical froshikis this is one of them Uh, this is typical froshiki, yes, being used or displayed even on the uh, uh, Oshogatsu, which is the New Year festivals. Or some other occasion, of course, maybe. A typical froshiki, which is a little larger in size. So this large size Roshiki can wrap and carry like uh, bed, bed spreads and, uh, you know, uh, blankets and so forth. Now she's going to make from the Roshiki uh, cloth a bag. A carrying bag. Just take a look. Just watch how to make it. It's very simple and easy. To make a triangle first. On the top. And the size. One of the sides on the bottom can be make a knot one time only. Just one knot, simple knot. The other side as well. Same way, make the same length and make a knot. Now two knots there. Put them together inside. And turn over, two knots are inside it. Then the other two sides, other two sides can be, yes, make a knot there, connect them twice to make it firm. And it's done. You can just put things in it. Just as simple as that. And how to carry it? Yes, on your, on your shoulder, right? Like a shoulder bag. It can contain anything. You can put it, put a, a big round, uh, uh, what is that? Watermelon <laughs> or something like that. And from here, you can also make it untie the knot on the top and Make it tight and the two ends can be connected again.
then that can become a handle of the bag. That can become the handle of the bag. So it's so simple, easy, making a carrying bag from a cloth. And it's, uh, yes, very well closed with the safety and carry just like a handbag. Isn't that nice? Very simple. It is all made from a cloth. And this particular cloth that she carries is an Indian made. She said it is her favorite cloth. Now Froshiki. One more variation. Untie the knot. Making it flat again. Uh, she's now changing the cloth. Yeah, it's a simple square cloth. All four sides, four corners maybe, make a knot, each one of them. One. Second knot here. And the third corner. Make just one single knot. The last one. Make equally the size and the lengths in all four corners. Now you have four knots and two of them, grab two of them and connect them together, making one knot and second time to make it firm. Other two, there are other two. Also connect them together by two knots. Now it has become a very small carrying bag. Small size carrying bag. You can, you know, carry anything. Mobile phones or some uh, pochette or anything else. And this cross can be made out of the old closings. Any kulta, kulti can be converted into froshiki as well. The point is just to making a knot in every corner and get them together, connect them together, make a hand like a handle and carry them. Very simple. That is what Froshiki is for. Here is another cloth that she's showing right now. It is made out of an old kimono, worn out kimono. And part of that is cut and made it as Froshiki. Now two sides, 
put them together, make a knot twice. Okay, then the other two sides, the corners, I mean, get together, make a knot two times, make it firm. This is the easiest way to make one bag. Anything you can put them, put them inside. And carry, just simple as that. So, it's so, so easy and simple. You may have all the old uh, stuffs, like uh, old uh, closings, any shawls, anything that you have in your home, just bring them out and make one square cloth, stitching the, the, the four sides, and that's it. It can be used as kuroshiki anytime. And depending on, the, on your clothing and attire, you can change the design, fabric, size, depending on what you carry. Uh, here is one uh, very typical basket that you can find anywhere in India, right? Now let's use that basket together with the froshiki, how it can become. Here is one furoshiki. It is 100 years old kimono made out of that. So it's a recycling. See, we are talking about not just wrapping art, but it's a recycling of the old. Yes, and it is reversible. You know, two sides, different design and color. So you can make it recycled to become a furoshiki prof. Now, using that furoshiki, place the basket on the center and one corner inside the basket. Look at that, that way. One other side. Inside the basket as well, holding just a little bit. And holding the other two sides firmly and those two corners on the right and left, get them a knot. Make a one knot. Make one knot there on one side. And the other side is free. Then get two sides together. And make a knot. Then this plain basket can be a carryable basket, right? You can carry any fruits or sweets, or whatever you can put inside and carry them. And you can just make it a gift to your 
guest or whoever you want to deliver. And we encourage you to use these old clothes as froshiki and do not use any plastic bags. See? As India grows up, the waste will be more. Now she's going to demonstrate a very typical wrapping and carrying of the two bottles, two bottles of whatever you may call it. It's a very simple cloth. It's an old one as well. Is that Indian as well? Yes, it is from India. It's a little larger in size. So you just uh, see the center, center part. And there are two bottles of wines. Now empty, of course. But you don't have to carry empty bottles. You have to carry the full bottles. Then get two bottles together. You can just keep one space for your palm, I mean, this uh, fist. Then lay them down. Lay them down. Be careful, it's going to roll out. And cover from one side. Then just roll on, roll on, just to see how rolling on and get together. And those two last two sides ends can be connected. This cross was a little larger for those two bottles. So she's going to make some arrangements. It can be simply just connecting and tie two sides together, but she's going to make a little more arrangements. Twisting, look at that, twisting, twisting, and make it tight. Connect them together. And you can carry those two wine bottles safely and beautifully. Isn't that nice? Because of the wrapping by cloth, it is safer. The next is going to demonstrate one wrapping to make it a little more artistic. So much for the wines, but any bottles can be. There is one cloth that was made by herself. Let's say some closings to carry. 
So put them in the, in the center. Put anything that you want to carry in the center. One fold. Another fold from the other side. Oh, make, uh, what do you call it? Gather. That, okay, gathering, gather. Make a gather. Okay. Anybody has a, a elastic band? Anybody has elastic band, hair band, anything? No, okay. It can be used just simply to make it tight. See, if you have the just uh, elastic band, uh, elastic band, or any hair band or something, you can just put it in there and make it tight. And this looks like a flower, isn't it? You can put a ribbon also to make it a gift, gift wrapping. So Furoshi can be used as a gift wrapping and just a carry bag in place of all the bags or plastic bags. One last demonstration about this Furoshiki. He's going to make a backpack using a little uh, larger size proshiki. Make one triangle and the top two ends can be connected like that with a little length. The same size, the both, and one end of the triangle can be tightened by two knots. Other side as well, the end of the triangle can be connected with the top end. Tightening by two knots. Now he's going to put something inside, like the basket, and with the claws, crochet Any clothings together. Yeah, almost everything in it. It has a great capacity if you use a large size of Roshiki. Now you can see the two knots that you made can become those handles. Like, uh, yes, backpack. Yes. So this can be very made by the size and you know, the design. Also, it's a very important point, right? So we have done this demonstration. And the final wrapping is to carry everything back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kazuko-san, Isogai-san.
what an amazing performance kuroshiki can not only be used in day to day life but again we can use for gifting it was really inspiring and definitely amazing performance thank you very much